Okay, everybody, here's the Franken 40, uh, my version of what a Chinese K40 laser should be like. Well, for my use, anyways. I cut small uh, micro size remote control sailplane kits, um, amongst other things, too, and etchings. Uh, I love the laser as it came stock. The only problem was is I wanted it to be a little bigger in size. Um, I didn't want to spend the money in buying one that was bigger as I felt I could fully uh, convert this over if I wanted it. Well, lo and behold, I wanted it. So we have a 12 by 24 cutter. I have the bed removed so that I can show you what else I've done. Um, I have a 12 volt power supply down there and I have a Arduino Uno board with a CNC hat and right now I just have one driver on it and it's connected uh, to uh, the Z bed which I'll bring in here in a second um, let's see a whole lot's been done uh, it's being run, the computer it's being run from is actually a Raspberry Pi, and literally this is all it is. And uh, they're very cheap and very reliable. And it's got K40 Whisper up there on a uh, TV monitor. So um, I pretty much kept the K40 stock. Because I didn't feel like spending $200 on a Cohesion 3D board and then another $40 on a licensed software when realistically the K40 Whisper and Merket 40, um, they, they work the same. They work great for me. You know, I, I switch back and forth. I'm, I'll probably decide some point or another. But, uh... I moved all the electronics into this box. Let's see if I power it up. Yeah, you can see the uh, temperature gauge. There's the stock amp meter with the stock uh, laser lock button and the stock test fire button. I did change this out, the uh, potentiometer for the amp meter, and I've got one of those uh, 10 turn uh, resistors, so uh, you have. A little bit more precision uh, basically we'll come inside here now and see what's going on um, I used pretty much the K40 as it is except for uh, a few things that were you know I found to be uh, necessary to change out um, I got rid of the optical limit switches and I went with the um, mechanical style I have one right here on this end and I on the X and I have one on the other end of the X I have one at both ends of the Y axis as well uh, no more grinding no more gear jumping uh, but then again I don't have the same situation um, this uh, conversion 12 by 24 conversion that's going around there are some things that are problems with the design. I'll tell you that right now, and a lot of you are experiencing it from what I see on the internet. One is, is this back um, pulley right here. It converts the 8mm shaft, cross shaft, to the 5mm motor shaft. The issue, the real issue was, is the teeth on this gear that comes with that SLA just don't integrate with the GT2 belts and uh, that's what I used um, so I had to redesign it uh, also I put a lot more if you look there you'll see a whole lot of uh, set screws locking those two together um, and it worked out perfect um, on the other side you know I put two uh, 608 um, uh, roller blade bearings in there and this thing is as smooth as silk runs real nice um, let's see let's move over uh, the Y carriage just build it as is uh, no issues there 
the only other issue really that's a brutal one is the head uh, carriage design. Um, it's a three wheel design and trust me with three wheels you'll always have wiggly issues. Go to a four wheel design and that's what I did. I converted this over to a four wheel design. Kind of kept some of what was there. Um, I did change out to a cloud ray mirror set which you can see there and you one back in the, by the tube. Um, I replaced the mirrors. Um, I replaced the lens. Uh, let's see, I added the drag chain, the drag chain mount back down here, like that. And uh, mounts up here on one of the, uh, the mounts for the laser tube. Uh, in case some of you, oh, there's the air hose. I use that, that real surgical tubing stuff. I prefer it much better. It's much more flexible. Um, and it's a bigger diameter. Uh, let's see. This here is for the lights. It's a dimmer switch. I'm, I'm probably going to eliminate it because I really haven't found uh, uh, dimming the lights to make a romantic setting for my wood. It makes a difference in cutting. So I'll probably just leave it full on. Um, I just have it right here. Double sized stick tape down just temporarily. It's connected to the 12 volt power supply down here. So is the, uh, the UNO board. So those I just shove into the back back there. And you don't see them. They're not in the way of anything. And they seem to be happy. Um, I, all the, uh, like the fan that used to be back here, the electrical plugs that used to be back here, um, I covered all that up with a piece of, um, uh, I believe it was 1 16th ABS sheet. I kept all the holes in the sides. Uh, it's all open down below. There's no blockage. In fact, those vents really don't need to be there because I have way more than enough room. As, like I said, it's completely hollow under here because I'm lifted up on some legs. So, and I still have the stock rubber feet. They're on the, on the uh, legs. Um, that gives me enough clearance for my uh, Z, Z table. Okay, so which, by the way, how you get the Z table in is you lift up the front of the laser and you slide it up under there. Now, uh, I'm going to have to um, put the phone down that's what I'm recording on. I have to put the camera down and put the Z table in. So I will be right back. A few moments later. Okay, here we are with the Z table installed. It's about five inches tall. Um, there is no adjustment for the belt. Uh, I joined the belt together myself. I have a jig and I'll probably include that with all the SLAs. It was done by somebody else, although I felt it was a little narrow uh, for the jig. So basically what I did was I went ahead and kind of changed the SLA, modified it, and that belt fits perfectly. The one thing I do uh, like is the belt is not in the path of the laser. It's underneath this channel, um, the belt, uh, the pulleys I have here pull it nice it got really good engagement around those uh, pulleys so the teeth aren't going to jump off of there and my table come out of whack meanwhile all right now the only thing left is what everybody really wants to see and that is my saw blade bed and here it is All right, I believe there's like 45 hacksaw blades. The two end ones are snapped off short. By the way, I picked these hacksaw blades because everybody was complaining that they break easy because I am probably gonna wanna break all the ends off and if they break easy, then it should break clean. Uh, it's Harbor Freight, uh, 50 of them for $4.99. I mean, how much can you lose? 
But anyways, I designed it to where it fits in, like here's one that hasn't been done. But I kind of made these pieces a little bit modular, but those are the slots the blades go in. Um, on the side rail, obviously, they don't have blades unless you want to go the other direction. Uh, but here they are. You just glue them together. You can see the seam right here. But if your bed is any different in size, then you'll either have to change the SLA or print it and break it and find another way to join it or just butt join it, which I imagine would be fine. Uh, I did print these narrow because I noticed that there was a discrepancy in the thickness of saw blades. So I printed a little narrow. I took uh, one of these blades and, and uh, just worked my way through every one of these slots and trust me it was not that fun of an ordeal but once done it's way more than pleasurable so we just slide this into position see if I could do it with one hand here there we go yeah, into position kind of somewhat squared up my uh, bed is already square or uh, at the right height for 16th inch balsa you know the one thing about a, a bed like this okay you don't have to have it motorized in fact I probably won't use the motor on the thing hardly ever because realistically I can just come down here grab this belt pull a little bit that way pull a little this way whatever the height is and then BAM I mean it's not rocket science anyways i hope you guys like frank and 40 um i have fun running it uh, like i said before my k40 out of the box once i set it up it was perfect the own oh i know one thing you guys didn't see and i do have to replace one of these prints because i tighten the nut too much well realistically I had it printed only 20% infill, maybe I'll bump it up to like 40% infill. And that's my laser tube adjustments. Man, those make adjusting the lasers so much easier. So I can put them in, you know, vertically any height. Uh, uh, I can move the each end around separately. Yeah, like I said, that's one of the best things to do if you're having issues, or even if you're not having issues with adjustment. You know, it makes it so simple and so easy. But, oh, and my exhaust fan. One more thing about exhaust fans. If you have a noisy fan, do what I did. I went ahead and I took my the, the packaging that was that the fan came in, it was clamshelled between styrofoam. Uh, so basically all I did was pull the cord out, ran it out the end of this here corner of the box, and, you know, cut holes in it for the hose to connect to. And man, that quiets it so much because it's still inside the box, still, you know, encased in foam that it came with. And it's not like it's gonna get hot, it's a damn fan. <laughs> it's blowing air through it, keeping it cool. So, I guess that's all I got to say about this. Uh, have fun. I will release the SLAs probably in about a week. Uh, and do somewhat of a write-up on some of this stuff. But uh, a lot of this was already done by other folks. I just had to clean it up for my purposes. Redesign a few parts. Um, the bed I did myself. Uh, the hacksaw. I woke up one day and actually I was going to use rulers and make it one inch thick. I was looking at uh, steel rulers at Harbor Freight and then bingo, hacksaw blade came into my head. And positioning those teeth opposite directions of each other. There we go, let's see if we can get them. Kind of crappy phone. But anyways, those teeth run opposite of each other. Well, they would if the bed wasn't upside down. There, let's flip it. Yeah, they're right.
<laughs> Sorry about that. Spun you every which direction. But anyways, the uh, the teeth are opposite directions. So whatever you got on there, when you lay it down, it tends to um, stick. The air blowing out of the nozzle doesn't let it move. Have fun. Keep burning wood. Keep making things. Keep exploring uh, your talents. But be safe at the same time. See ya.